Hi and greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I am here to narrate a vision or a dream, if you want to call it, of what happened before my mother died. And I just want to let you know that this is my mother just died on Saturday. And today is Tuesday. It's around 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon so it's just been about four days I'm in a period of mourning and but I felt compelled to come and narrate what the Lord showed me because I think it's important for us to know and I think what the Lord reveals to us to us at the servants of God is very important uh, to share it with brothers and sisters and first of all, I want to say that the Bible has detailed very well what happens when we die. But for some reason, we tend to be very doubtful and very fearful of the unknown. But the Lord said in the Gospels, do not be troubled, do not fear. Why? Because you believe in God. And secondly, you believe in Jesus Christ, the Savior. And third, he has gone to prepare mansions for us. So there is there are a lot of mansions for all of us in heaven. But I already the word of God has revealed. But I'm here to narrate what the Lord showed me uh, sometimes back. So my mother died this Saturday, just four days ago. Uh, that should have been September, I guess. Today is the 28th. That should have been September the 24th. I'm not sure or 25th this Saturday 2021 but the, the the vision and the dream I want to narrate to you the Lord gave me the privilege and showed it to me on August the 29th and this is what happened I went to bed slept and suddenly in this in this dream I found I live in Canada but my parents live in a country called Kenya and my mother at that time was staying in the capital city the capital city with my sister because of treatment and that particular night when I went to bed I suddenly found myself in my home place in the dream I prepared myself back in Nairobi in, in Kenya in a city, in a province called the Central Province, in a, in, a, in a town called Nyeri. And I was there, found myself there, and I prepared myself. I was preparing myself for a ceremony. And then I walked in this dream, I walked from home to a place where the ceremony, the ceremony was. And I found myself, I saw a lot of women cooking. And I recognized the women they were cooking in a particular place like preparing to feed a, a number of people then as I walked I found myself in a burial ground and in that burial ground or where the ceremony of burial was to take place I found myself in the midst of people there was a kind of a barricade and people were standing behind the barricade but in front was where the, 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 the was a green field it was a green field where the burial was supposedly supposed to take place and as I am standing behind the barricade I see people uh, all over behind me and I'm looking at the ceremony where there, there is a green field ahead of me and in my mind I'm asking whose burial is this I was trying to, to scan and see where the pit, you know, usually we put them in a pit. I was look, trying to scan ahead to see where the pit was. There, were, there was no pit there. And I, I got surprised. I was like, where is the pit where the barrier is supposed to take place? Then I looked up and I saw in that green field where the barrier is supposed to take place while the crowd is behind the barricade. I looked and I saw a very high pulpit, a very high pulpit. And I looked up and I was like, why is there, why is there a pulpit here? And this is a burial. We, we are supposed to have a, a pit to, to where we put 
put the coffin uh, and the body. And I looked up the, the, the tower, kind of a tower. It was pretty high. I would say it was almost like mm, 70, 80 feet tall. And I looked up and I saw four strong men guarding the pulpit and no one was allowed to go there. And I looked at, at the strong firm man and I was like, these are heavenly men, these are angels and they're not allowing anyone go there. We are barricaded, we, we have to attend the ceremony, the ceremony from this side. And just, we were watching four strong men in a high tower, like a pulpit, where I knew that the, the, the the one who died was there on top, but we couldn't even see because they were jealously guarding the place. The, the four men, heavenly men that were angels. Then I turned around at the barricade to see the crowd and I realized that I know most of the people and most of the people are neighbors from my village where I grew up and I knew them by name and I greeted them by their names. I have written the names down, but because this is more of an international place, I won't say the names, but I greeted them by their names in, in the first and the second row, like that. Then I moved, continue, I continued to greet people who had attended. Then I realized on the second row or the third row, I saw my cousins and my relatives, and I particularly recognize uh, my cousins who were wearing green, the green shirts and it was kind of like a uniform you know they were wearing and I greeted them and I continued to greet people all along the, the, the place where where we were barricaded and I continued to greet people then I realized my brother and my sister were right there and they were busy running some programs concerning the whole situation and they were reminding me that the women that were making food on the other side should be called to the burial ground. But then as I continued, continued in the middle, I suddenly met my mother. And when I met my mother at that point, it shocked me because my mother was 71 years old when she died four days ago. So in this dream, when I met my mother, she looked 20, the 30 years old she was very very young and very strong and very beautiful she was radiant her face was glowing her hair was amazing my mom looked so beautiful I could not believe it I wanted to cry tears of joy I wanted to be happy and I spoke to my mother I was like mom and she spoke to me back with a very beautiful voice and I was looking, admiring my mom because she was exceedingly beautiful. Like, I, I don't remember, now that I'm an adult, I don't remember my mother being that young. Because I, 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 maybe I was just born or maybe I was not even born, but she was radiant and beautiful. And as I spoke to my mother, I was proud because my mother was so glorified and was so beautiful. And I wanted the people around there just to know this is my mother. And I felt proud because my mother was so beautiful. And the, the people gathered there just wanted them to know, look at mom, look at mom. But I, we did not speak that much. We just exchanged a few words. And I'm going through these emotions of how she is looking and, and just feeling so good. But I walked away to continue greeting people. And as I walked away greeting people, I had this question, where is the one being buried? There is no pit to be put in then I understood within my spirit that the person being buried did not go down they went up and as I was meditating thinking about these things I suddenly find myself in a in a like a setup like a church where people are in the auditorium and there is a stage where like the choir meets but there was no one there was no one on the on the on the pulpit but the most beautiful song was being sang and 
there was like a board where the letters and the lyrics the lyrics of the of the song were being displayed in golden rainbow beautiful tangible letters but the song that was being sang there i just did not re recognize everyone except me and my wife yeah as i'm saying in, in in that choir i did not recognize the people there but there were people singing in in, in unison and my wife was with me and she was worshiping and the song there there was no choir there but the angels of god were singing my friends i heard the most beautiful song i have never heard in my lifetime no one even the best of the choirs or singers sings like that you can take the best song and multiply that by a million times that's how beautiful the song was and the song was elating me it was bloating me up it was pumping me with joy i was bloating like a balloon i was floating around i, w I wanted to burst like a firework in joy because the song was just so beautiful and my soul couldn't get enough couldn't get enough of it and i'm thinking i need to learn this song because i need to be singing this song this is the most beautiful song ever i've ever heard in my life and in my quest to learn the song, the, the chorus was going on, and I and I woke up from this vision, and I remembered the chorus. I just remembered the chorus. I did not remember the whole song, and the chorus was 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 as this: It is Him who has promised immeasurable joy, incredible joy. That's the only portion that I that I that I that I that I noted and grabbed and crammed it in my in my head and when I woke up I wrote the whole dream and I and I wrote the, the lyrics as well that I that I heard the tune was still playing in my spirit but now it's 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 lost because the tune the tune was angelic it's not like any tune that is sang here in the world but it's very beautiful and it's very beautiful to hear angels singing is uh, it's incredible it's incredible then when I woke up I got the whole interpretation of the dream that and that is my mother would pass away and she would have a glorified body and four angels would come to get her and she was going up and she was not going down and there were celebrations when she was ushered in or she will now she was because I know she, she would be ushered in heaven with celebrations of, of, of with angelic singing. And God allowed me to hear a tiny bit of the celebration that happened, happened in heaven when she was taken. So I just wanted to come here and narrate a little bit of that so people can be comforted. The people who die in the Lord, they go up, they don't go down. The people who die in the Lord, angels, come to pick you up and there is celebration in heaven huge celebration in heaven when an, a, a, a child of God sleeps because we sleep we do not die so just wanted to share with you the, the vision and the dream that I saw that is on August 29th and as I said Saturday uh, today is the 28th so Saturday was the 24th so my mother uh, passed away on the 24th Saturday and from the date the Lord showed me the, the vision, the dream that was on the 29th of August. So she passed away shortly, say, uh, 20, 27, 28 days later. But the Lord, the Lord had already shown me. I kept it a secret because I knew the meaning and I did not want to shock my family members. But I remember two weeks ago, I felt compelled. I felt so pushed to share with them so that they can be they can be comforted when the whole thing happens. And I shared with my brothers and sisters. And after I shared, we had a lot of preparations that we did. We made sure we knew where the documents were. And we made sure we, we, we knew the important details that we needed mom to, to, to to, to give it to us and the weekend before she passed on they had 
the, the, the whole family had gone from the city to the village to visit the village and when they visited they took all the documents that is pertinent to my mother's private life and so we were prepared so my mother passed on a week later that is four days ago so I just wanted to share this vision that the Lord showed me and to encourage uh, Christians out there who are so much afraid of, of death in fact the Bible has already talked about this death so I'm just sharing my experience to encourage somebody I'm four days into mourning yes it did not make it easy because that's my mother and this is the day that I felt that I can come out and share this vision because I know this is going to encourage many people who fear death who are Christians or who have Christians family members who slept or are going to sleep in the future do not be afraid those who know the Lord are ushered in are personally on the day of, of their death angels come pick them up God might send two God might send three God might send many I guess it depends with the rank yeah, in the spirit and there is great celebration when a child of God arrives to to, to their eternal home so be encouraged do not fear death but serve the Lord Jesus Christ with with all your power with all your mind with all your spirit with all your soul and we will never be disappointed in this world or in the world to come God bless you God keep you and get born again if you do not know the Lord I ask you to pray this prayer now Lord Jesus Christ I am a sinner I have sinned against you please forgive me wash me by your precious blood make me your child come into my my life my mind my soul my spirit lead my life wash me make me clean I am born again because of you Christ Jesus I trust in you from now henceforth I am a child of God I am born again thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord in Jesus Christ's name we pray amen if you have prayed that prayer you become born again the gift of eternal life is yours just find brothers sisters alike in the church that believes and trusts in the Lord Jesus Christ and fellowship while it's still daylight God bless you God keep you and thank you you have made the most important decision in your life God bless you amen thank you for watching